Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Maya. So this is going to be the first video in a series of three. Uh, what you're going to need in the videos two and three is the plugin that I'm going to show you how to get and install today, right? So what we're talking about is the GLTF format. So what is that? Well, that is the GL transmission format. Now, that is an alternative file structure that is, uh, I would say, faster and better than OBJ or FBX, and specifically used uh, for applications where you want to show 3D models online, right? Like in uh, web shops and uh, that kind of stuff. So, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the plugin, how to install it. In the next video, I'm going to show you uh, the whole platform that I'm talking about how to create super interactive setups with uh, rotating and animating uh, models, with uh, tags, with interactive tags, and all that kind of cool stuff. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag just yet. Uh, that video will be up on Monday, and then the next Wednesday, I'm going to do a full tutorial on how to get through all the options and how to use it, okay? But first, you need the plugin. Alrighty. So I'll put a link below uh, for you to download it. Now, once you've downloaded the file, you need to unzip it using something like uh, WinZip or 7-Zip, right? Now, what you then need to do is you need to go into the unzipped folder and there's a script folder, right? You're gonna take the files gftfexport.py and gltfttranslatoropts.mel and you're going to take that from the scripts folder in the unzipped file and you're going to paste it into the link that I'm showing on the screen right here. If you are a Windows user, you're going to go to C and then users and then your username, documents Maya, and then whatever version you're using, let's say 2022 20, or whatever, and then in the scripts folder. Okay. For the Mac user, here's the path. If you are a Linux user, then there's your path. Once you've done that, you're going to go into the plugins folder in the unzipped file that um, has been expanded, right? There, you're going to take the gltftranslator.py from that folder, and you're going to copy it into one of these locations set below, right? Now, when that's all said and done, you should now be able to activate that plugin. So what you're going to do is you're going to restart Maya. You're going to go up to Windows. You're going to go to Settings Preferences. You're going to go to Plugin Manager. Oops. And there you go. And it should be in this list right here. Now, mine is right up here. It says gltftranslator.py. You're going to click on Loaded. You're going to click on Auto Load, right? Now, once these two are loaded, you can now take... Um, a object, a file, an animation, right? Let's just uh, quickly animate this guy. We'll keyframe that and we'll uh, move forward to something like here. We'll uh, move that forward and then we'll keyframe it again. So if we hit play, there you go, okay? So we can take that, we can go up to file, we'll go to export all option box. And now I have the option to use the GLTF export file choice, right? That's all there's to it. So make sure you have that up and running. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or if you get stuck. Um, next Monday, I'm going to show you what this is all about. We're going to go through that uh, a pretty awesome platform and uh, I'm going to talk about what you can do with all of that. And then the next video after that is going to be a full in-depth tutorial. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if everything works out and see you guys in the next video. Bye.